Age just 23, there were big doubts about his ability to cope with the relentless abuse. If you're burnt in effigy and hung from every lamppost in Britain because you've been sent off against Argentina, what's your mindset? Do you think, I'm going to try even harder the next game, or do you think, that's it, I'm off, forget it, I'm never going to try for you again? So, on untold thousands a week, he decided to soldier on and was given the boost of being made England captain. He's still got a nice lot of experience, uh, so for me, he's earned it. I think one of the great trivia questions in years to come will be who made him England captain. <laughs> of course, it was Peter Taylor, who's now surely selling cars for a living. But giving Beckham the captaincy hadn't had much effect on his lacklustre teammates. England had struggled in their qualification group and came into their final match against lowly Greece, still needing at least a draw to get to the finals. Having been blamed for England's 1998 exit, this was Beckham's last chance to turn things around. It was a day, really, when we should have lost. It was one of those days. Greece played really well. Everybody was underperforming. And we should have lost. It was, if there was any justice, we'd have gone. In keeping with England's general lameness, Greece took the lead. Despite an equaliser from Sheringham, the Greeks were still dominating. drives it in again. England beware here. Nikola Pedis, he scored. Greece have taken the lead again. Beckham seemed to be the only one playing. And he just, he just would not have it. Pedis with it, Devering Hedder. Beckham's won it back for England. It was one man's will dragging us into the World Cup. That's unbelievable by Beckham. Superlatives just cannot describe England's captain in this second half. It was one of the best performances by an England captain that I've ever seen. Oh, that's sensational. That is world-class football by David Beckham. Throughout that game, there have been a succession of free kicks. It's almost as if England were playing for them. They got them on the left of the box, they got them on the right of the box, they got them in the centre. And Beckham, like some sort of artillery gunner, was getting his sights set throughout that game. In the dying seconds of the match, England were handed one last roll of the dice. Well, Beckham had another attempt to go. He puts the ball down and says, right, everyone get out of my way. You lot all move away, because I'm going to score now. Like two and a half minutes of stoppage time. When we've got a free kick just outside the penalty area, there's not many people you would put in front of David Beckham that take that. And he does that wonderful thing where he kind of looks around the wall and you think, look, goalie, look where he's looking. He kind of looks around the wall. Is it there? Yeah. In fact, you always think he's going to walk to the goal. Sorry a minute, goalie. Uh, just here this is going to go, all right? And then measures out. But it, it, and there's such an inevitability about it. Beckham could raise the roof here with a goal. scored that goal and you watch it now, you watch it tomorrow, you watch it the day after, the hairs on your neck still stand up. It's one of the greatest World Cup moments of all time because written on his face is ecstasy, he's, he's purged the hatred that he felt, he runs around that pitch, every single fan is going potty. It's the closest I think that you will get to orgasmic. In terms of the general public, it was a moment where he, was, he reclaimed um, their hearts he went from silly little boy against Argentina to saviour of the nation. It was destiny that he was going to score. It was destiny it was going to be in the last minute.